So today we have an exciting uh, showdown of the three hottest uh, logging uh, cameras. Uh, GoPro 12, it's right here in the middle. GoPro 11, here on the side. On uh, Pocket 3, on the other side. This will not be another uh, boring video where I uh, just uh, list the specs. I will actually tell you my experience uh, using these cameras. And uh, before we dive in, uh, hit that subscribe button and uh, give this video a like. It uh, takes quite a effort to make a video like this, so uh, I appreciate if you like it. And uh, this is not a sponsored video about all these cameras uh, with my own money, so this is my opinion, my uh, personal experience uh, using uh, all these cameras as uh, vlogging cameras for uh, my own uh, YouTube channel. First up, let's talk about the physical aspects of the cameras. So both GoPros have a same old uh, compact form factor that uh, nicely fits in your hand and uh, has a nice uh, grip. Its strengths are obvious. It is uh, rugged. Uh, if you drop it, you just uh, pick it up and you continue sh shooting. If you drop the Pocket 3, you pick it up and you go home uh, crying. Uh, that's why I recommend you pick up a DJI Care Fresh, which costs about uh, 50 euros for two years. But if you accidentally break your camera, the replacement will cost you only about uh, 35 euros. All strengths come with their weakness and uh, trade-offs. To be rugged, you have to avoid all moving parts. Aperture, autofocus and uh, optical image stabilization are just a uh, few of them. On the GoPro, minimum focus distance is about 30 centimeters. On uh, Pocket 3, minimum focus distancing is about 20 cent centimeters. So on the GoPro, everything from 30 centimeters to infinity is uh, in focus. To have a focus range uh, like this, you have to have a narrow aperture. That's why GoPro has a 2.8 uh, aperture. What does all those numbers and mambo jumbo mean, you ask? I'm glad you asked. That means that uh, GoPro will perform uh, not as well in uh, low light conditions as would the uh, camera with an autofocus. But it can't have autofocus because it would become uh, much more uh, fragile. So GoPro is stuck. Where GoPro shines are extreme sports or uh, sports in general, because it wouldn't be a smart idea to go uh, kayaking or mountain biking uh, with the Pocket 3. It uh, won't uh, last you. Another area where GoPro is ahead is water activities uh, because it is uh, waterproof, but Pocket 3 is not and uh, should be kept away from uh, water. Lastly, GoPro is very compact and uh, easy to use. Uh, it fits nicely in your hand. Just uh, press the uh, record button, point at your subject, and uh, within a couple seconds, it starts uh, recording. Meanwhile, the uh, Pocket 3, with its unique gimbal and wireless microphone setup, has a different approach. It is not as easy to use as a GoPro, because uh, a gimbal has a learning curve because you need to switch uh, between the modes of the gimbal and even uh, once you learn how to use the gimbal it's uh, not as uh, uh, straightforward as uh, as a gopro okay now let's talk about uh, sound quality if you are vlogging uh, with your uh, gopro you probably uh, pretty quickly notice that uh, uh, sound is not uh, great Wind and background noise uh, often uh, make it uh, challenging to re record uh, usable audio. The only way to fix this issue is to use an uh, external microphone. And uh, here you have the two options. Uh, either uh, you use a media mod or uh, you record the uh, audio separately and then you sync it up in a post. And uh, if you decide to use a uh, media mod, uh, be aware that uh, we'll probably lose its uh, waterproofness. And the other downside is that it becomes uh, much uh, larger and uh, not as uh, easy to put in your pocket and take it out. And once you add uh, the uh, wireless microphone setup, uh, yeah, it becomes even bulkier. So you see how easy GoPro lost uh, its uh, two main advantages, waterproofness and compactness. Why they haven't implemented the wireless microphone, I don't know, because uh, technology been around for uh, many many years uh, yes the new gopro 12 supports uh, airpods but uh, it's a joke uh, have you heard the audio quality it's uh, it's unusable now let's talk about uh, video quality all three cameras perform insanely great 
and there's plenty of light so i won't waste your time talking about that i will only say that each time i shoot a vlog i am truly amazed of what these small cameras nowadays can do where they usually struggle and fall apart is uh, low light but with the pocket 3 that has uh, changed it's a uh, one inch uh, sensor and a gimbal combination uh, has a significant advantages it can achieve unbelievable uh, results to get similar results you would probably ne need a mirrorless camera like a sony zve 10 with a uh, quite fast lens and a uh, gimbal but uh, don't forget that the mirrorless setup that i just uh, mentioned would cost you at least uh, twice as much and uh, weigh at least four or five times as far as i know there is uh, nothing uh, better that is also cheaper and uh, smaller than uh, Pocket 3 for low light. If it's something you care for, that is probably your best option on the market uh, right now. Stabilization is crucial for smooth, professional looking footage. Both GoPro models are renowned for their exceptional hyper smooth technology. But again, they have made some sacrifices in favor of ruggedness uh, to avoid moving parts. GoPro uses only electronic uh, image stabilization it is uh, insanely good but with a caveat as, as long as there is plenty of light electronic image stabilization uses a higher frame rate to stabilize the video to avoid artifacts created by the stabilization you should use a 360 degree shutter speed instead of 180 to be able to do that you need to install special uh, firmware called uh, gopro labs and uh, use uh, an app on your phone to scan a QR code. And for those who didn't know, faster shutter speed uh, means darker image. And if you combine the two narrow aperture and higher shutter speed, uh, we get very poor low light performance. The only setting left is ISO, but uh, GoPro has the smallest uh, sensor, so it has the mo most noise. So once again, GoPro is uh, stuck. Each camera has uh, some special features. One of my favorite GoPro special features is GoPro subscription, uh, which gives you unlimited cloud storage and serves as insurance for your uh, camera. That provides, uh, no questions asked, 99 uh, euros a camera replacement. GoPro Quick App is also a very nice idea, but uh, sadly it just uh, doesn't work. I have tried it many times, but it uh, crashes and uh, basically it's unusable you have like black spots black segments uh, on your video and uh, you can do whatever you want and it just uh, doesn't come up the same uh, can be said about uh, cloud storage it's a great idea but not so great to use as it is very limited you can't upload your full uh, video project just the video files audio and everything else uh, should be stored uh, separately you can't create uh, folders Everything is just uh, sorted uh, by the date and uh, you can download only 25 files at the time. Download and upload speeds are also limited. For Pocket 3, hands down, the favorite uh, special feature is a wireless uh, microphone. Then there's uh, fast charging that charges uh, your camera from uh, 0 to 80% in just uh, 15 minutes. Not only that, you can attach external bat battery that is included uh, with the camera and it will almost double your uh, battery capacity. And of course, uh, gimbal is a great special feature too. But wait, there is more. Pocket 3 also has a connected track where before I shot the wide angle and then just uh, reframed in the post. Uh, now I actually can track me once uh, I move around uh, and uh, it's like having your personal cameraman and you can get very creative. So in conclusion, I really wanted to uh, love GoPro. I uh, used it for the last uh, year for my vlogs. I had uh, high hopes for uh, GoPro 12, but they didn't ad address any major issues. Uh, to my opinion, it's only a software update. The only physical dif difference is uh, they added a quarter inch uh, screw on the bottom. I will still use the GoPro because I love uh, kayaking and cycling. And for those activities, uh, it is uh, still one of the best uh, choices. But for everything else, uh, Sorry GoPro, the uh, Pocket 3 is the uh, vlogging king in my opinion. That of course is only my opinion. It depends on many factors. Uh, features you use, activities uh, you do. And uh, what is your budget? Because uh, you can get a GoPro 11 for about 250 euros, but uh, Pocket 3 will cost you almost uh, three times as much. If you're looking for a budget option, uh, probably Action 4 would be a very nice option. Because since the last update, uh, 
DJI wireless mic works also with the Action 4. So here you go, uh, waterproof compact camera. You just point it, shoot it, and it has uh, wireless microphone support. Maybe one day DJI mics will support GoPro 2, but at the moment it doesn't. And as we are filming this video, the uh, GoPro 12 has run out of the battery. 11 is still going and uh, Pocket 3 has a 100% battery because uh, it just ran out of the external battery but I still have a full battery on the camera itself. Let me know in the comments below which camera you like, which camera you are using right now. I'd be very interested to find out. Thanks for joining me today. It was uh, an exciting comparison video. I hope you liked it and it will help you to decide on your uh, next uh, camera. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button and see you in the next one very soon. Or you can watch one of these videos.